and welcome to Throwdown Thursdays. My name is David, and I'm joined today by Ashley. Hello. And today we are playing Lanterns. Yes, again. Uh, today we are playing with Stephen, Lewis, Natalie, and Ashley. Stephen's going to go ahead and go first. Um, in the last video, you actually said that it would be a lot quicker to play four players, but I've found whilst watching, it actually goes a lot slower. Everyone takes a lot longer with their moves, and because there's that extra person, you're getting more lantern cards before it comes round to your turn. Yeah. Um, I noticed that you're almost able to buy dedications almost instantly on your like your second or third turn, um, and that obviously changes what what tiles you play. I mean, if you've got the opportunity the opportunity to make a dedication before you um, decide to lay your tiles then it kind of stops you from laying tiles in general, I find. There was, yeah. a, there was a point where people were just getting tiles to buy dedication straight away. They didn't, it didn't really matter what tiles they were laying down at all. Um, so we start off, actually, uh, Stephen has already placed a platform down. Um, I always like to think that keeping, reserving the platforms is quite important. For me personally, I know you don't, you're not really a big fan of the platforms uh, to get the favour tokens. But, I mean, I like to keep them in my hand until, you know, last minute sort of thing. Yeah, I think I think the platforms are quite important, especially, um, I mean, I noticed it more in this four-player game that I couldn't, re I wasn't really trying for the uh, the favour tokens, mm. but I noticed that I did really need them later yeah. on in the game, because we get, like you say, it's four players, we're getting so many cards for it's even your turn, and I probably could have played differently with more favour tokens mm, definitely. and wasn't really uh, capitalising on that mm. um, where a lot of the other players were in this game yeah um, so Stephen's just placed a tile I think it was just Stephen yeah Stephen's just placed a tile and if you look Natalie's already got four blacks so on her turn she can make a dedication straight away whilst everyone else can't at the moment if you was able to get two dedications you'd be able to um, actually no even now you can go for the two the red yeah blue and the orange um, so already it's like your second in the last game it was your third turn it was the third turn that you was actually able to make your first dedication yeah that's right I mean if Natalie didn't go for the um, uh, the four know. yeah the, the four yeah. yeah I mean I, I, I just feel like I would have been so far behind already and she had so many more tiles already again yeah. like she's pretty much close to getting another yeah dedication already yeah. and it's just I would have just fallen so far behind, so I just I thought I'd wait a turn. I'll try and go for the ten pointer straight yeah. off the bat because it didn't seem like anyone else was going to get it or go for it at the time. Mm. I mean, Lewis uh, is still quite. I mean, Lewis can. You, you could go for it now if he had a blue, but he can't. Yeah. He can't swap out yeah, exactly. at the moment. So he's quite lucky. So he's gone for the nine straight off the bat. Mm. And Natalie couldn't do it either. So no. yeah, you were quite safe to be fair. The only one you had to really worry about was Stephen, but obviously because you're before him. Yeah. It would have been fine by the time it came round. But I think realistically, at this point in the game, I probably should have gone for the uh, for the three of a kind, the two, 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 just because once I've gone for this ten, I'm just going to fall so far behind, you will, and you I'm giving be... away seven tiles just mm. to get the ten, just to try and get a. Well, in my head, I'm trying to initially get a head start on everyone. So I'm thinking, yeah, I've got the ten, I should be able to do this. But as you can see already, Natalie's already got two to dedication tiles. I mean, getting that ten is a big. It's a big number. It means the next tile you get, it allows you to get a lower number. Even if you've got an 8 or a 7, that's yeah. 17, 18 points. Whilst Natalie at the moment, she's only got 16 points. Yeah. So all you need to do is get the 10, get an 8, which are, you know, you're going to go for the 10 now. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you did go for the three of a kind at this point in the game, um, you really, on, your, on the fourth turn, I don't think you'd be able to have any, I don't think you'd be able to buy anything. Really, you'd have to focus on getting uh, favor tokens. Yeah, it's true, but it would have left me with more options. Having having that one extra tile, I think, gives you gives you an extra extra option. Yeah, that you might not see originally. Mm. There's always that possibility that it comes around to your turn. And you've got three uh, lanterns of one color. Yeah, that could always be a thing. So at the moment, Natalie's you know ahead. Stevens just we just ended the fourth round, and uh, Natalie's already got two dedication point uh, tiles taken. Everyone else has got one. So she's she's in the lead. She got really really lucky with those uh, four blacks from the beginning. Yeah. With Stephen uh, taking advantage and getting double tokens there, getting a white and a purple. 
it's really hard, like I said in the last video, to have a proper game plan. You know, placing a tile. So for next turn, you can place this tile exactly where you need it. Where you, oh where you yeah, need definitely. It to be. Yeah, it's hard to play a game like that, mm. especially with this game. I mean, the only way you could really play this game tactically is if you focus on the person who's ahead of you and try not to give them the tiles that they need. Mm. I mean, I, I know I didn't in this game, but maybe I should have focused on Natalie. She was so far ahead already. Maybe I should have just focused on her not getting the tiles that she needed just to kind of slow her game down. Yeah, sure. But you just... It's a really different game, this game. You really just... It's hard to focus on... Your own moves and other people's moves. I don't know what it is about this game. It's every, it's, it throws it's, it all out. Everyone, it's the player communicate, not communication, but other depending on what Stephen and Lewis are playing, that depends on what you should play to then interfere with Natalie. There were a couple of times where actually Stephen gives Natalie the cards, the tiles that she needs, yeah, uh, the lances that she needs to then you know make free dedication without wasting any fortune or anything like paper tokens or anything like that. So you go ahead and make the nine. That's your second. Um, green dedication yeah. that you've got so you're quite lucky for that um, but you're still in a good position you've got two blacks two green uh, two blues and two yellows as well so you can even go for the three, the two of a kind yeah next turn and at the moment you're past Natalie you've got 19 points she's only got 16 yeah so this is actually quite good at the moment as long as you can keep every time she buys you need to buy as well and roughly at the moment you both have kind of the same amount of Lantern cards. She has a few more than you, but not enough to actually make much difference, I think. I think everyone has a lot more Lanterns than me at the moment. <laughs> I mean, Stevens again, just he, he's bought and he's, he's he's now got enough to go for it late again. Yeah, he can. And who can actually do it as well? Natalie can also do it. Yeah. She'll probably do that next turn. Lewis can't do that right now. You know, it's Lewis and uh, Stephen taking hold of all them... Uh, Favorite tokens. Yeah, they got five each there. I think um, last round, Stephen actually had more than twelve lantern cards in his possession, meaning he wasn't able to swap out. So he had to make a dedication first yeah. before he could do anything. And that can sometimes leave you in a bad position as well because it doesn't give you the option to then choose what you want to do. You're almost forced to make a dedication straight away, and you can't really optimize what card, what lanterns to use next. Oh yeah, when, definitely. On the next turn, Lewis there sitting with. Uh, Four whites, so he has a few options as well. And saying that he's still missing two colours. Natalie is just looking really strong at the moment. She's she got a, she can go again and buy another dedication next turn. Yeah, exactly. She, she can. Um, she hasn't got any favours, so yeah. she can't. She can go for the three of a kind, can't she? So there we go. At the end of turn five, you can see I am really struggling now. Everyone has got a move next turn, yeah. and I am just going to fall behind. Mm. now because I'm going to struggle everyone's got the cards that they need to buy another dedication and I haven't yeah in saying that you do have the fortune so you can the favour token so you can swap over yeah, and get, a, right, get yeah. yellow obviously at the moment <laughs> there aren't any so <laughs> yeah. that's that's an issue so really you need that that's that's another thing that takes into uh, the game takes into consideration when you're playing tiles it's good to stop people from getting anything I think Lewis is probably the worst I know it's while editing he went through three, four turns in a row where he didn't get any lanterns whatsoever from anybody. Oh, wow, well, yeah. It was ridiculous. You see, in points, you are winning, but when it comes to lanterns... I'm falling yeah, behind. You're fall, you yeah. are falling quite behind. By the time it comes around to everybody again, they'll definitely be able to buy that fifth dedication, and that's when you'll probably struggle at this point. She's gone ahead and uh, made her fourth purchase, Natalie. And again, in her next turn, she can go for another three of a kind. It's unbelievable. Look at that. She's now got four green tiles, so yeah. she can play that. And then she's got the two, two, two. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy. Absolutely unbelievable. You notice this is actually the, that's the first uh, favour token she's actually received. She doesn't really bother. No. She, doesn't she, has, she, hasn't, yeah, she hasn't needed to so far. <laughs> Everyone's just giving everything to her. So you go ahead and uh, make that seven. That's the first time you've actually bought something that wasn't a, <laughs> all set, a, a green. <laughs> I can't help it. I love them green ones. Yeah, they do give you the most points, yeah. especially at the beginning. And at this point now, that's obviously the most expensive one, which is probably going to be bought by, at this point, maybe Lewis, if he's smart enough. Um, no, because he can't. Three, six, eight, nine, ten. 
By the time it comes around to him, he probably won't be able to make a swap because he'll have more than 12 lanterns. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. When saying that, Steven's already taken it, and now they're all six again, aren't they? See, so checking the next tile, I think, is quite important, especially for Lewis and Steven just then. They want to make sure that the tile they take, then it's the same number underneath. Yeah. So when they buy one, the next time it comes around, they can buy it again, sort of thing. Or if it is, you know, a number less, you'd buy that one straight away, so the next person to get it would get less points than you. Now you're just speeding along. It's probably got to be the most high-scoring game I think we've ever played. Yeah, I would say. I mean, like you said, having that one extra person in the game is constantly fueling your supply. Oh yeah, with more lanterns. That's probably why it's taken so long, like I said at the beginning. You know, you're know, you receiving all these lanterns and you think to yourself, oh, what do I need to do for this turn? What do I need to buy? What dedication should I make? And then the turn afterwards, you need to start thinking about what tile do I lay down to then you know, yeah. get the next one. Yeah. Now we're at round seven. Yeah, look at that. End of turn seven and still Natalie's got two moves yeah. that she can make to get more dedications. Yeah. And it's unbelievable. It really is. Really some great plays going on. I just cannot keep up with it. I'm trying. I really <laughs> am trying. Steve was going to make a, uh, a swap there, but he decides to um, take it back. And I think he just makes a dedication here rather than swapping. After he does a few more checks. Yeah, he goes for the three of the kind. Which is silly, really, because he could have probably gone for the six rather than the five. All we have to do is just... Make one dedication for the blue. Yeah. And you would have been alright. I think the last few turns it gets quite intense because you wanna you wanna make a dedication on round eight, nine. Oh, that's it in this in this in a four player game, there's only nine rounds. But the, the last couple of rounds you just wanna constantly buy, make dedications. That's where you're gonna get the points. Oh yeah, you do wanna try. It's getting harder and harder because everything is the same. So no matter, you need to make sure that Natalie's getting less points than you. You want to make sure she's getting the fives and you're getting the sixes. But every, yeah. everything seems to be five, 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 or six, 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 six. So at the moment, you are actually really far behind. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, on points, I think you're winning. I think yeah, on points, I think yeah, but... it's very neck and neck, but. I just can't keep up with her buying dedication tiles now. And everyone else, in fact, on the on the board, everyone can make dedications right now, if yeah. they try. And I just cannot. I'm really far behind. I think it's out of your hands, in a way, as well. Obviously, the tiles you have in your hand just aren't giving you enough oh, yeah, definitely. supply. And then what you're relying on your opponents to give you, it's just not coming to you. Yeah, I think if you look, like I said before, I bought three green tiles straight off the bat. So, ten, nine, seven. That's if I would have gone for the three of a kinds instead, I could have had extra lanterns yeah. to help me. Maybe at this point in the game. And on the turn that you weren't buying lantern, uh, making dedications, those extra lanterns would have allowed you to yeah. buy something. Yeah. Stephen not caring, there, just throwing yeah. his cards back. <laughs> he didn't care. He just wanted to make his last one, his last dedication. And Lewis should be able to make a dedication as well. Lewis didn't actually swap out once. You've got seven uh, favour tokens there. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of tokens. <laughs> yeah, he just didn't care. Really. He was getting them all. And Natalie was completely opposite. She wasn't really getting them. She wasn't using them at all. She didn't really need them. That's the first game we've actually played where uh, parlours run out. Yeah, definitely. And two parlours run out, which is pretty unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. But luckily, no one really had to go do the same dedication to get the four points. Yeah. So, all in all, you would have won, I think, if Natalie didn't get that last remaining tile she yeah. was so lucky in getting so many different lanterns and if you notice like you said you got the three greens and you got the, the three blues as well they're the most expensive when it comes yeah. to the, um, the number of lanterns that you're using whilst natalie was only doing four 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 here and there there were small yeah. small points but you know soon added up towards the end of the game it meant she had the same technically make probably around the same amount of lanterns that you had but it allowed her to you to buy more dedication. Oh, definitely. I think she played 
probably one of the best games I've ever seen anyone play in this game. She played really well, mm, really, really well. Everyone else kept up pretty well as well. Oh Luke, yeah, I mean we all tried. I mean yeah. it's a very close game, yeah. very close game. Yeah, well done to Natalie. Lewis was very unfortunate because, like I said, there were a few turns where he wasn't getting any lanterns at all. So he was he probably got if you calculate it. If everyone got 100 lanterns, I'd say he got around 80 or 70 yeah. in comparison. He got hardly any, bless him. But um, yeah, congratulations to Natalie. That's very, um, very good plays, I would say. Oh, definitely. This is a kind of game where you can't say to yourself, what would I have done differently? Because it is so random. Oh, yeah, it is 100%. Quite luck- it is quite luck-based. But um, yeah, I do enjoy this game. It's oh, very, it's very fun. It's very good. Definitely recommend it. For sure. All right, well, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Do you think it um... recorded it better? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, it's not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!